Hello, I'm Jeff Sachs, President of the United Nations Sustainable Development Solutions Network. Thank you for including me in your important meeting and greetings to you from Belém in the state of Pará in Brazil uh, in the Amazon rainforest. I've been having fantastic meetings uh, during the past week with the new leaders of uh, President Lula's uh, new government. And despite the, uh, the sad uh, turmoil in Brasilia uh, in uh, recent hours, uh, this is a strong team uh, with the country behind it and with an incredible commitment to sustainable development, including the SDGs, the protection of the Amazon, uh, and addressing the global climate crisis. I want to speak about the major opportunities of 2023 and the four things that we really need for success in the Sustainable Development Goals. And the first one I've mentioned is government commitment. President Lula's new government is filled with remarkable leaders in sustainable development, of course, uh, the beloved uh, Marina Silva, the Minister of Environment and one of the world's uh, great leaders of sustainable development and many others. We need governments around the world to commit, to recommit to the sustainable development goals as the only way forward. This is the first and most basic point. My second basic point is we need peace for sustainable development. We need to end the war in Ukraine at the negotiating table. Uh, the attempt at a military victory by one side over the other is devastating, potentially completely disastrous for the world. This cycle of escalation needs to stop. The two sides need to negotiate. Uh, there are political issues uh, that uh, both sides uh, require and need, and we need peace. And uh, this ongoing war is a tremendous danger, threat, of course, devastation to Ukraine, and horrific distraction from what really matters for human well being, which is facing the challenges of sustainable development, fighting poverty, addressing the environmental crises, addressing the crises of social exclusion, not escalating war. So this is my second basic point, time for negotiation, past time for negotiation. My third point is that we need clear roadmaps to success. The Sustainable Development Goals are about social transformation. They're about doing things differently and doing things differently over a period of a generation, whether it's transforming the energy system or changing agriculture so it is more resilient and sustainable or changing our fiscal systems so that they can support the kind of social inclusion, public services, and public infrastructure that's needed, or changing our educational systems so that they're meeting the needs of the 21st century and also including all learners in the society. These social transformations are not one-year events. They're not the events of a single government. They are the transformations over a generation. And so in the course of the SDGs, my favorite word has become pathways. We need the pathways to success. Uh, we need to scope out how we're going to make these transformations, which investments are needed, what policy changes are needed, whether it is in education or in healthcare or in energy transformation or in climate adaptation and resilience, or in sustainable agriculture and land use, or in urban infrastructure for a world that is increasingly urban and will be perhaps 70% or more urban by mid-century, or in digital 
access and digital systems for all or in strengthened social protection systems. All of these social transformations that I've mentioned, and again, education, health, energy, climate adaptation, uh, agriculture, uh, urban infrastructure, digital and social protection, all of them require pathways. And the fourth and final point, in addition to the political will, the global cooperation, the pathway analysis is the financing to underpin the investments in sustainable development. All of those transformations are a medium term investment transformation. And the essence of the pathways are the public and private investments needed to achieve the transformations. Investments require financing. What we know is that the official financing that is from government sources, whether within countries or transboundary, are insufficient to achieve the sustainable development goals. That's why UN Secretary General Guterres has called for an SDG stimulus plan to boost by hundreds of billions of dollars the financing available from the multilateral development banks, other public development banks, national budgets, better uh, structured debt arrangements, and other mechanisms so that we can truly finance the sustainable development goals. I'm honored to be working with the Secretary General and the Deputy Secretary General on the SDG stimulus. Our intention, plan, and hope is to lay out a new global financial architecture, uh, a new pathway for investments in the SDGs that can be taken up by the international institutions, the IMF, the World Bank, the multilateral development banks, and others, by the G20, indeed by all nations, so that a true sustainable development financial architecture can be put in place at the time of the mid-review of the SDGs this September uh, at the new G, uh, upcoming G20 summit with the India presidency and at uh, the next uh, climate conference uh, in the UAE. We have a big agenda this year. We need political will. We need to end the wars and intensify our statecraft for cooperation. We need roadmaps and we need a financial architecture that can provide the quality long-term financing at low cost needed for the investments to achieve sustainable development. Thank you. I look forward very much to working together with you. The Sustainable Development Solutions Network with its more than 1,800 member institutions around the world, mainly universities, plus many think tanks, national laboratories, and NGOs, it looks forward to working closely together with governments, with other parts of civil society, and with the private sector to address these challenges and move us to an accelerated path for fulfilling the sustainable development goals. Thank you so much and all best wishes for a very successful meeting today.